Turning virtual cell structure designs into reality is the challenge. First, you need the raw materials, the bio-ink for the printer. In this case, human liver cells, which remarkably are similar in size to the droplets of ink in an inkjet printer. For this test, we're going to print a mini liver. It will be just half a millimeter deep and four millimeters across, but can perform most functions of the real thing. Hi, Vivian. So we've got the printer here. I see two different cartridges. What's in the cartridges? So if you look in this cartridge here, we actually have liver source cells. And in this one here, we have cells that make up a lot of supporting material. The principle of the bioprinter is similar to how an inkjet printer produces words. Following the computer design, the 3D printer creates sheets of cell-friendly biopaper made from collagen or gelatin to temporarily hold the cells in place. Then, it prints the living cell clusters onto the biopaper drop by drop. Each drop of this bioink is approximately 250 micrometers wide, fractionally bigger than a strand of human hair. Pinpoint accuracy is essential. That's one of the great powerful things about 3D printing is that we have the ability to control exactly where the cells go. So just like we said, we can put them exactly where we want to go and then we're relying on them to do what they know how to do and form tissues. That's one of the amazing things about this process. Once the cells are in place, nature takes over. Kept alive in incubators, the cell clusters begin to fuse to each other, creating more complex tissue structures. We can see tissues that we actually printed yesterday that have been incubating overnight. So from print to incubation to culture in 24 hours. So this is now ready to go for toxicology studies or beyond. The question is, how close a match is the printed tissue? I'm taking a cross-section of human liver to make a comparison. It's very delicate, thin material. And I'm making five microns thick. That's about one cell layer. And once it's layered on the slide, I can stain that, put that under the microscope, and see what we've got. So I'm holding a slide of human liver, a thin section that's stained. And you can appreciate the complexity of the liver, which is the major organ in our body, which detoxifies our blood. Organovo has printed out human liver cells as well. Human liver, three-dimensionally printed from stem cells. We'll need a microscope to check the results. How does this compare to a normal human liver? It would look about the same? Yeah, that's right. So uh, the tissue is highly viable. The cells are happy, they're healthy, they're well organized. Um, and we can do that all it, exactly in an automated computer generated process. The success of 3D bioprinting means that these liver cells can already be used in scientific research to test drugs and study diseases.